Hey Slices, do you making DIY shadow lampshades? This kind of came from my own imagination, so the craft is a little bit shorter than some of the other crafts I've done, but still I really like this craft and it's great for room decor. I think this would be cute if someone did this in a nursery with little animals or something like that. So let's get started. You will need a cutting mat, pictures of shadows or silhouettes that you would like to put on your lamp, a pencil, two types of tape, regular and double sided, an exacto knife, a ruler, and colorful scrapbook paper or construction paper. You will also need a lamp and a shade to decorate. I forgot to put them in the photos, but I think you guys get the idea. Any lampshade will work. We first are going to go over the way you're going to lay out your papers when cutting the silhouettes. Start by taking the picture you would like to put on your lamp and take another piece of paper, this can be any color you would like, I like using scrapbooking paper for a cool effect, and we're going to place that underneath the picture we're starting with. Tape on your picture and then get ready to cut. For my lamp, I decided to do two seahorses since I have a recent obsession with them. I just laid mine out on blue cardstock and got my X-Acto knife and started cutting them out. You want to cut where the black meets the white and don't cut into the black. The reason we're not cutting into the black is because that middle portion is the portion we're going to be putting onto our lamp. Tips for cutting with an X-Acto knife. Number one, a sharper blade is a better blade. Make sure your blade is always sharp when cutting, especially through cardstock. If your blade isn't sharp, run it over a couple pieces of tin foil to get the blade to sharpen itself. Number two, when cutting through very thick surfaces, instead of pushing very hard, push lighter and go over your lines twice to make sure the paper doesn't rip. Number three, instead of cutting out the entire outline of your shape at once, Cut around a smaller area and then connect the starting point and the end point of your cut going through the white area. This is going to remove a section of the white area which is going to make the shape, in this case the seahorse, form quickly. Number four, if you're a newbie at using X-Acto knives, make sure to take your time. If you go too fast, your project is just going to look ruined. Take your time and make sure you have lots of extra cardstock and printouts to use. Continue cutting all your shapes. When you're done cutting out all your shapes, lay them out how you wish to lay them out on the lamp. Then, get some double sided tape and apply it in small pieces onto the shapes. You want the tape to be smoothed out so on the lamp it's invisible. tape on your shapes, simply put them in the lit lamp. You want to put them wherever you arranged them before, but you can move them around a bit if you like. Just know when you push, they're going to be stuck pretty firmly in place, but they are removable in case you decide to change your lamp up again. And there you have it, your lamp's done. The cool thing about this is, if you turn it off, it looks like a normal lamp, but when you turn it on, it looks like something more. Before we finish this video up, I would like to say thank you to one of my beautiful subscribers, Anne Louise. She did an awesome video showcasing some of the crafts she's done that were inspired by me. I'd like to thank her again, and make sure you click on the box to check out her video, or the description bar below if you're a mobile user. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I upload every Sunday, so if you want notifications in your inbox, make sure to subscribe. I'd like to say thank you to all 57 of my lovely subscribers out there, you guys are really growing this crafting community. If you guys don't mind commenting below, telling me what kind of crafts you'd like to see up next, that's going to give me a little inspiration for the next crafts. I have a few ideas for the next videos, but it's still good to plan ahead. Thanks for watching again, and see you next week. Bye!